guys what's going on hold on a second I keep my <laughs> my cameras trying to slide all right so this new phone I have with the amazing camera is a lot heavier than my old phone and when you put it in the tripod it is off it's not completely centered so uh, yeah that's what I'm dealing with <laughs> not, not a big deal though anyway I uh, when I did the, the unboxing of Goondock's um, bo uh, box that he sent me the quatch in, um, I taped it off so that I can, uh, when I go to take it apart, I'm going to mark it with a marker and do all that stuff to it. I, I was going to take it apart on camera, but I wanted to talk about this dagger uh, sting. This is a sting, and the name is, it just suits it it really does it, this thing looks super stabby and that thing will sting if it if you needed to use it for self-defense but i use my knives as tools thank you um i don't carry them for any other reason other than that but uh anyway i wanted to share the note that he did include in the box with you guys uh, and also I would like to, I'm going to link his channel in the description of this video so that you guys can check out his channel. He has an amazing ch channel. His collection is great and he doesn't just do knives. He does other stuff too. So it might, you know, it might be something you're looking for. So it says, Hey Stella, thanks again for doing this. I included a dagger sting w limited edition. So there was only a hundred of these made. And this is number 84 M390 steel. Just a beautiful grind. Look at that grind line. I love that. That's just, man, is that gorgeous. And let's see. Uh, uh, just for me to check out. And then he included a Tucson and a Victory, or the Kubi Victory. Um, he said he's giving me those to keep. <laughs> I'm like, wow, dude. You didn't have to do that. Um it's his own only Tucson and it needs a good home <laughs> so uh and hell yeah I'm enjoying it thank you so much let me show you those two knives again that uh Calvin is passing on and um how could I charge somebody after they gave me two knives you know look at this thing the blade is incredible look at that that thing is wicked I think just because the, 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 I want to dye the, uh, scales, like a darker color. I feel like that would be so cool, but man, oh God, this thing is creamy smooth. And you can, uh, use the middle finger flick if it's, it's just a little awkward, but you can do it. Um, either way, it's got a nice flipper tab action anyway, so very nice knife though this thing is so creamy i mean ah uh, max man he does some of the best ergos in the game i am not lying like phew, this is so good anyway so there's that um and then he gave me the kubi victory as well let's see god this thing is so cool i think it's g10 but I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, either way, I like this knife a lot. This is so smooth. The blade is incredibly light feeling, but it, obviously it still has enough weight to fall shut, you know. It has that really cool sound. I like it. I like this a lot. They're both pretty sweet knives. Who could ask for anything more? I mean, you know, after, I mean, I'm just so glad I found the note. I didn't throw the box away with the stuffing. I, I like to reuse things, you know, recycle, whatever. So that way I'm not tossing a bunch of stuff out that I could just use again. <laughs> Man, is this thing nice, though. Awesome. Oh, I just noticed it has a titanium clip, too. Holy crap. Wait a second. Are these all T8s? No. Oh, uh, yep, this is an older one because they started using all T8s and that's it. So, but in the older ones, they did use T6s, but not a biggie. 
Look at how perfectly centered that thing is. No need to take it apart? Oh man, and even back in the day they had nested liners. This thing is nice. Really like it. So anyway, I wanted to do a little um, review on this guy. First off, um, I, I googled it to see what the the what it was because I've never heard of this uh, company before. It's Dagger, D A G G E R R, and um, it's got like this for the D. It's kind of like a little. I don't know, like a little character or something. I think maybe a top part of a skull or something like that because they have this th whole thing going on, which is cool. Because look at how the screws are the eyes. I love that. It's so clever. <laughs> really cool. And then it is reversible, so they thought of everyone. I like that a lot. Um, the uh, micro or the carbon fiber is done so well. It's smooth, but uh, not slick. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it's not grippy or anything like that, but it's not like slippery either. So you can choke up a little bit here. Um, and this is such a nice grip for like, uh, maybe for piercing power and such, you know, great little knife though. It's a slender carry. I carried it today so that I could let you guys know how it carries perfectly centered and you cannot it has a actually perfect blade to handle ratio you you cannot feel that tip at all and it doesn't come out the back at all so it's perfect you're not gonna there's nothing to worry about as far as getting accidentally stabbed or anything like that great little lanyard uh, option there that they put in the shape of the handle i like when they do that you know it's just good. I believe the backspacer could be G10 or micarta. Um, the blade is M390. I um, I I gotta say, <laughs> I like this hole better than Spiderco's hole because you get this bit of a grip. It kind of holds your finger a little bit, and then you it, it's just really nice. Whereas if you have a spider co um they just have a circular one whether they chamfer the hole or not is is like hit and miss with spider co but they don't have these two little uh like nipples <laughs> to kind of cradle your finger well in my case it cradles my finger perfectly and it's really easy to uh deploy the blade using that i love the sound this thing makes it's listen I just like that a lot. I like the jimping right there. Um, this jimping right here. It's um, very close together and smooth, but you can still feel it. Um, I suppose it could have used a little extra jimping up here, but I think aesthetically um, leaving the jimping off was was a good idea because it's just a, a very aesthetically pleasing knife. This thing is gorgeous. It's unique. You don't see spear points like this ever. I mean, if you look at this, this is what I think Dagger Company is all about. And um, doing more research on them, it seems to be that they are in the business of making long, more slender, uh, dagger-style spear point blade knives. And I just dig them. I really do. Um, I'm going to be checking them out a little bit more here too. So, um, very cool though. I don't really know like who their uh, designers are or engineers or anything like that. I'm not sure. I Like I said, I just discovered them because of Goondocks. So, I got to thank him. You know, what an awesome discovery. Nice bead blast too. This could be glass or sand blasted, but I'm not sure. It does resemble a bead blast pretty thoroughly <laughs> this thing feels very sharp um yeah i could always test it out on some paper couldn't i here i'll just use this oh wow yeah that is incredible 
incredible. Incredible. Nice and sharp. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no. That is no problem right there. No problem with that blade edge. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to say how much I love this knife. How very cool it is. It carries pretty well. Um, the pocket clip is deep carry. Um, but just to let you know, everybody's going to see it. <laughs> you know, that's, there's nothing quiet about it. So if you live in an area where people are like, Oh no, it's a skull. He's probably a, a, a criminal. Well then, I don't know if you're going to want to carry this pocket clip around. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to be the easiest thing to find a pocket clip that fits the way this one does. I don't think anyway. I, I've never seen a pocket clip fit like that. So, But anyway, who cares what people think? I think it's just whether or not you'll get in trouble, you know. But anyway, let's. Uh, I'm just going to disassemble this guy. And then I'm going to color in the area that I'm going to be uh, grinding, off, grinding off and smoothing out. So I just wanted to do it on screen. On scream. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to scream. Let's see. Is this a T8? Yeah. Good. Whoa. Oh. No. Actually, I think it's... No, it's a T6. Hold on a second. Wow. All <laughs> right. Oh, I forgot to turn my notifications off. There we go. No issues there. I just don't have very good experiences taking apart other people's knives, it seems like. And I really never want to screw up someone's knife or even just the hardware. I mean, if I stripped something, I would be so upset. So far, so good. Um, Scott, the... Uh, our neighborhood TV guide man he said that a good idea which I think is an excellent idea um, to do 10 10 of the easiest to disassemble knives I think that was a, a really creative idea and I think that right now I can tell you uh, Kaiser is one and Tucson or uh, yeah Tucson is one of the two of the companies with the easiest to take apart screw uh hardware um so check it out i've never seen the inside of one of these bad boys Ooh, it's, uh they have great uh bearings they make really great bearings there i love the way they did the stop pin had no idea it was like that and the detent man they really Got that so close to the path of the stop pin. That's crazy. That's pretty amazing how people do this stuff, man. So, and then this here's the stop pin. It's an, so interesting, the location, you know. Pretty cool. Let's see. I'm going to keep everything kind of like together here. And then I put everything in a bag so that I don't lose it but yeah so here's my piece that I'm gonna be oh and it fell right out how awesome is that <laughs> cool that works so what I'll do is um, color in the area that I want to uh, smooth out but yeah I think this is gonna end up looking so much better I think I hope <laughs> unless of course I screw it up but pray for me <laughs> on that note I'm gonna let you guys go for now I'll see you soon